Hey YouTube, it's Mark here. I'm uh, here in Hong Kong airport and uh, I landed uh, a short while back um, from Cebu, Philippines and uh, uh, in about an hour or so should be on my way back to the UK. I uh, should be landing back in London, Gatwick. Uh, early Monday morning, he's sort of flying back into time. It's all a little bit uh, confusing at times, but um, I've got the Monday off, um, so when I get back, I have time to sort of recover and recuperate. Um, Lord willing, we'll get the two sermons uploaded, but that's uh, assuming everything goes okay because obviously I, uh, you know, I pray for the flights, not for myself, but for the passengers and crew uh, who are probably for the most part unsaved um, so Lord willing if, if everything goes well get back to the UK safe and sound and get home um, I'll get those uploaded and that but uh, I wanted to record a short video just before I left to you know give thanks for uh, the prayers uh, help support and encouragement that I've received uh, since I've been over here in the Philippines and uh, I'm very grateful for that and um, if you've been following this channel you'll know that uh, I've been posting a few updates uh, two people got saved uh, following the first sermon and uh, I was particularly um, happy about that um, from a from a personal perspective I guess in that uh, it was my brother-in-law a Catholic uh, guy uh, who got saved. Family's been praying for him for many, many, many years, well before I arrived on the scene and well before I got saved. Um, so uh, to be used like that, um, you know, to, to be watering um, and uh, for my friend and brother, uh, Alejandro Durante now, for him to kind of uh, reap, so to speak, um, uh, was such a great joy and such a pleasure as well. So, um, you know, I'd, I'd do the same journey next week if, you know, I'd see just a single soul saved. You know, it's, it's worth the journey, brethren, um, easily worth the journey, worth the uh, hours and hours sitting in an uncomfortable sea. And, um, you know, that's how important it is, you know, and this is what we should be doing as, uh, as Christians and certainly preachers and teachers and evangelists, which I touched on in a previous update, who, you know, are content with... Um, sitting in front of a camera and not actually doing anything you know this is ministry in action here and uh, there's nothing great about me but I believe that you know uh, a teacher preacher evangelist and so on should be out there doing something uh, instead of just uh, uh, sort of showing off how great he is with the scripture uh, or she in some terrible cases um, you know on YouTube which is easy to do anyone can do that but uh, it's another thing to actually get out there and do something um, so you know food for thought on that one so just a short update I I'm doing pretty well feeling okay I tend to wear these like um, surgical masks on these flights and a good job too when I left uh, Cebu uh, I put my mask thing on because uh, just everyone's coughing on that on the plane and uh, all the air is kind of circulating around it's not really healthy and uh, uh, if you know me, you know that I have asthma and uh, it's, it's always a worry for me and uh, you know, I'm always trying to be very careful. So uh, the flight back to the UK, I'm going to be wearing one of those the whole way. We'll end up looking like a doctor, but at least I won't get a cold or anything. So uh, it's all good. So, um, so yeah, it's been really good, brothers and sisters. Um, this trip has been particularly fruitful. And uh, I mean, I, I go anyway. I mean, you know, if a soul's not saved, but the, the church is edified, that is equally as good. Um, so to have two souls saved was just a, a great uh, uh, bonus, if you know what I mean. But um, Lord willing, I'm going to be coming back again. There's no particular set date. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm literally just returning. So to, to already have a date in mind is, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, a, a bit too... Uh, forward if you know what I mean so but Lord willing it will be within the next sort of I don't know three to six months somewhere like that would be nice um, so please do uh, pray about that in fact I wanted to read a quick uh, bit of scripture on that it's from Colossians uh, chapter 4 uh, verse 3 uh, with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds and verse 4 while we're at it that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Amen. And I pray that that's what I did um, the last Sunday gone with the two sermons that, Lord willing, I'm going to be uploading um, tomorrow, UK time, Monday. Um, I really pray, brethren, truly and honestly, 
that you watch those sermons and that you approve scripturally of what I said and what I did um, and you kind of see as I said the ministry in action you see you know kind of raw footage so to speak you see how it is and um, as I mentioned in previous videos these aren't you know gleaming white buildings and um, you know everything's wonderful and, and, and great you know this is um, very kind of real Christianity and the believers there are um, you know put a lot of Western Christians to shame it's uh, it's it's amazing and really humbling to be honest with you so um, going forward brethren um, the second uh, assembly that I went to a very very small house church um, and you'll see this as well this is something that that I feel led to be a part of going forward um, I have like a, an interview video um, with the uh, with the the guy that's running uh, that house church there and I really pray that you um, give that over to you know prayer itself actually um, about what to do about that because um, you know it's a new uh, assembly very raw very fresh um, and um, the guy running that definitely definitely needs help um, and I'm convicted to help him and uh, you know if you subscribe to this channel I would really want you to be a part of that process um, so my request to anyone watching this is please please pray about that you know, watch the interview video watch the sermon especially the second assembly as I said and uh, pray about it and uh, if you again follow this channel you know my email address BibleBelieverUK at gmail.com you know drop me an email and let me know your thoughts about it so um, and including about the sermons as well you know feedback for me is very very important you know I, I, as I've mentioned many times I'm not a perfect man <laughs> I make mistakes um, but in preaching the word I try and be as, as careful as I possibly can be and that's why I quote a lot of scripture because the words of men are in you know are fallible uh, you know are prone to error uh, and so on and so forth uh, but the word of God is not and the word of God of course being the King James Bible so again if you follow this ministry you know that I'm a King James Bible believing uh, teacher believer preacher and so on and so forth uh, that's what I stand for I don't apologize for that position that's exactly what it is but I do have grace for those that uh, aren't quite there yet uh, why because I was like that once and I'm sure you were if you were if you're watching this you you know were once using the NIV or whatever it is so let's have a little bit of grace um, for others uh, you know that haven't come to that kind of knowledge yet so so yeah so just a kind of uh, short video short update uh, if you do get to watch this probably by the time it's uh, uploaded maybe if I can do it here the Wi-Fi is uh, it's okay it's not too bad but maybe uh, if I get it uploaded in time um, I'm probably probably going to be flying by the time you're watching this so please do pray for a safe flight for the other passengers and crew um, uh, you know the I'm already in the Lord's hand so it's okay but uh, obviously my warriors for those that are with me so please do pray um, for the safety of the flight that we all get to our destination so to speak and um, so yeah it's all good so it's uh, it's been good brethren it's been good to fellowship it's been good to serve the Lord and uh, it's been good to you know do good works it feels good it's, it's as it ought to be so please do drop me an email uh, as I always do, I tend to talk a little bit too much, so apologies for that. But uh, please do drop me an email and uh, let me know your thoughts if you have any. And um, thank you very much for watching. God bless. Godspeed. Thank you. Bye-bye.